Hi, I'm Aaron Martins here uh, talking about the knot I use. Uh, it's a uni, a uni slip. It's not really called a knot, but no, we can call it a knot. Uh, unis, um, you know, basically it's, you put it in single. This is a basic uni. Uh, you want to give yourself a little extra line, uh, especially if you're new with this knot. And if you watch my hand work, I, I grab this hook, I grab the hook with my right hand, and I'm going to flip it. What this allows me to do is wrap it up inside of itself. So I'm going to go with two, three, four, five, six. You can go five or six. I do seven. Just, I think it's a little bit stronger. And that is going to be your basic uni. And you can wet it a little bit. It's always good to wet a knot when you're pulling it tight. Now, the, the, that's a great knot for you know, attaching lures and stuff to. But if you're drop shotting or if you want it to be a little bit stronger, I'm going to do a double. I'm going to double my line up. And if you try to do a drop shot with a single, you can't do it because the tie guns has to be that long, and you can't, you can't efficiently do the knot without, without using a bunch of line. It's really hard. So in order to do a drop shot with a uni, you're gonna take your line and make sure you give yourself, you know, enough leader for your for your weight. So I don't need a leader right now, as I'm showing you. I'm just gonna leave myself enough line to tie it. But take your, uh, take your line, double it, and pinch it. So it's easier to get through the hook, plus it's easier to tie a knot if you pinch it good. So you're going to pinch it, now i got a nice sharp end to work with. And then you're tied the same, the same way I showed you on the other one. Like so, this is doubled. And again, this is the only way I can find that efficiently of tying this, this slip is to flip it. What I do is I grab my loop, and the hand work is in beard. That's the hardest part to get used to on this, on this knot, is getting your hands right. But again. I'm wrapping it kind of, I turn the knot upside down, wrapping up inside of itself. Take your tag in, kind of cinch it down a little bit. And then, and, then, and pulling this one tight, you kind of want to, you know, it's always good to wet it. You want to pull all your lines at once. And that what that does is kind of cinch your knot down slightly, uh, somewhat like halfway cinched. And then you let go of the loop and pull your tag in and your main line down until the knot comes tight. And then what I do, always do is I always grab them again real tight. And that allows the knot to pull. And I do this really quick. It's actually a really quick knot once you get efficient at it. And you come off that loop and let your line slide, your hands slide down the line. And then take your tag in your main line and pull it really tight. And then I always take my main line and just give it a nice cinch. Um, but then you got your tag, you, you cut this off for a drop shot and take your tag in and run it to the top of the hook like so. And that would be your drop shot without this piece on there. And this is what I tie for braid and fluorocarbon on, on all my stuff. This is just, that's the knot I use. Uh, of course, if you're tying a bait on, you cut that off too, and you're going to have three tag ends. But that, that to me, I've been, I've been playing with knots for 15 years and, and, and a lot of cinch knots. And that to me is right now, I don't know of a stronger knot than the uni. And that's a uni doubled. And it's not really that big. Um, the thing about uni that makes it so good is compared to like a palomar or a knot, um, say you catch a fish that, that frays your line, or your, your, a lot of times you get uh, frayed on the knot from the teeth or from obstruction of rock or something. Uh, on a small knot like a palomar, for instance, um, that's going to weaken your knot a lot. It's going to be really, it's going to take it down to 50%, depending on how bad the teeth hit it or a rock hit it. What this knot is, it's a, it's a little bit bigger, it's got more cushion, basically, more shot. It absorbs a lot of more damage than a, a small knot, so it actually is a it, it's a it's a very it, it lasts it'll last a long time longer than any other knot, and uh, it doesn't fray and snap on you as much. And uh, it's been working really well for me. I've had very few breakoffs since I've been tying it for about seven or eight years, and it's been a phenomenal knot. I mean, I, if there's something better out there, just you know, you can text me or so show me a video on it because I'd love to see it but right now for for me that's been the best knot the most consistently consistent pulling tight it's almost never pulls tight wrong it's just a really good way of attaching your lure